What's going on everybody? This is Thomas the Great coming back with another great video. Just enjoying the blue skies. Just enjoying life, you know. Just trying to make the best out of the situations that's at hand. And today <clears throat> I want to talk about a perfect relationship. <clears throat> everybody look <clears throat> towards other people as stepping stones and steps to make progress in their relationship. It's almost like a diet. You have all these different fad diets, crash diets, that may or may not work depending on a person. Not one diet is going to work for everybody. It's different diets depending on the person, right? And depending on a person, they choose a diet that works for them. What I've learned in relationships is that just because one thing worked for one group of people may not work for another group of people or another group of people, right? So it's almost like an aspect of a diet. There's nothing perfect that works for all, right? So it's the same way with a relationship. One thing that I've just learned or come to realize is that every relationship is unique right so in order for a relationship to work you can get the counseling the prof professional counseling that you want or need you can get advice from elders you can get advice from close family or re re uh, relatives um, if they are going through something or been through something uh, and whatever work for them you can take the advice from them but that don't mean that it'll work for you right every relationship is unique there's no other person in this world like you. There's no other person in this world like your spouse or your other half or your new potential, right? So you have to get to know that person for that person before you can take the advice of another person. Because what we're doing is casting the steps of another person onto the person that we're with. Knowing that every person is unique in their own way, you can't use the advice or the steps of another unique person, right, to work for the other person that you are trying to live a life with or a potential with. It doesn't work that way. And I think sometimes we, we lose hope and faith in the people that we're with because we are comparing ourselves or or, or our other halves or potentials to other people that we see or we're around. We're unique. There's no other person out there like you or them, right? So understand that. Like, this thing <laughs> with these relationships, I mean, it only you can figure that out. Yeah, it may be some advice you can get from people, but you still gonna feel like bored. You still gonna feel like something is missing because you haven't tapped into yourself or tapped into that other person to really find the foundation of what makes that person them so that you can mold yourself for them and vice versa. They have to know what makes you, you and mold themselves for you. Everything is like, is unique, right? We're so used to society swaying us to be a certain way and then you see an umbrella effect of people all doing the same things but it takes the craftiness the uniqueness that god created us for it takes that away because everybody want to be like everybody else right and we do the same thing when it comes to relationships you can't do that they can't look your spouse can't look or your potential can't look at others and then look at you to be the same you're not others there's no other person on this earth other than you be happy about that be excited about that right lie in your comfort about that don't always look at the flaws and the bad sides of you just lie on the comfort knowing that there'll never be another you 
even after you're gone. Like it's it's only one of you. It's only one of them that you're trying to have a future with. So get to know that person the way that person is. Give your all to that person. Lie in the comfort knowing that if y'all can overcome these adversities that y'all going through, they'll have no other relationship on this in this world the way that y'all are having. Why? Because y'all decided to be like-minded and be unique versus being like the masses of the society. That's a powerful thing. So if nothing else out of this message, know that you cannot for a lasting relationship, something that's going to lie and go beyond the test of time, right? You have to get to know the person that you're trying to spend the rest of your life with. Know what makes that person that person. Mold yourself to the foundations of the soul of the person you want to be with. Let them do the same by your openness and you'll have what everybody else in this world is looking for. Which is pure joy and affection lying in the soul of of the person that they're comfortable with that'll last forever and through the test of times. It'll be infinite, right? So just know that. Take these words, take this advice, apply it to your life. If nothing else, know that you are unique, that person unique. Stop looking everywhere else for questions and answers. Know that they already lie within yourself and in that person and start the change today. Y'all have a good day.